Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today we're gonna continue on with the main quest and uh, battle preparations. Behind me you can see the ship where we need to board. You can see Siri and Triss and Avalach over there, over my uh, left shoulder. And we're gonna sail to Skellige with them. Uh, so we're here just next to the Novigrad docks marker. So that's where we need to start off. Help protect Amy Yennefer, Yennefer is talking to and Philippa and Margarita. You amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. Hello, ladies. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. <laughs> it's clearly in our nature. Yes, indeed. Um, secure them amnesty, really. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Sounds like a plan. Got a hard time believing Emperor go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Oh, come on, the Yennefer. Be nice. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Okay, and uh, how would Rita know? How's Rita know? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Okay, yeah, that sounds kind of like a conclusion. Of I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. Indeed they are. So let's head on to the ship. Hello, Avalach. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Yes, we might. Let's go. Anchors away. And I think we've seen this already, because this is the exact same cinematic we've seen when we first headed to Skellige. But hey! They are having fun. And Jennifer's enjoying the view. <laughs> and look at that fleet over there. That is the Nilf Guardian fleet. And uh, she clearly sent a message over there, probably to Amir himself. Well, that settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. Is that so? The yes, Emperor indeed, it is so. Fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. So Frangilla Vigo is a Nilfgaardian sorceress. Who was a uh, part of we the Lord. inside the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Frangilla Vigo. We need her here. So, um, hmm. Can you teleport me onto the Emperor's ship? Probably not, since we... I think there was some sort of magic barrier that was uh, surrounding the ship. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Okay. So, they know we're here, probably. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. Okay. I'll get on the ship myself, then. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say... 
The white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach. Thanks by for night. the support, Stand Jennifer. A chance, then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. Sounds like a plan. And since we've shown him Siri as well, that should uh, smooth things over with him uh, immediately. So don't even know what the Sunstone is. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Okay. So... Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Apparently so. Because everybody's gawking at you. I love elven legends, so... Uh, Let's hear it. Dallas, please. I absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. Ahem. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you. <laughs> yeah, lives. indeed. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. Indeed. Because we needed to summon the uh, Nagelfar. So uh, I'm more interested in how to use it. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. Oh, I sometimes want to strangle this guy. Sorceresses? Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. <laughs> I wonder who's vomiting below deck. But uh, we're sure the Sunstone's here. The Sunstone's in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. What the hell is going on with Ermian. the camera? I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Okay. So, uh, we're off. I'm off. Good luck. Thanks. So, we'll probably go to the Empress ship first. Letter from Yennefer to Emir. Let's read that as well. Your Imperial Majesty, allow me to remind you that our arrangement encompassed all the sorceresses wishing to take part in the risky endeavor whose success is so vital to us. I find it hard to believe that in the current situation, when I have already succeeded in gathering so many members of the Lodge, you would refuse to allow Fringilla Vigo to join our company. I understand there are personal factors that make you reluctant to part with your subject, but I assure you our interests are aligned in those matters as well. I promise that I will uphold the conditions of our arrangement, despite the fact that they will demand sacrifices of me and will leave me in an unfortunate situation. I therefore request, politely yet with great insistence, that you release Fringilla. With all due respect, Yennefer. So we have the Sunstone quest. Um, but I think I can go for the uh, the quest to go after Fringilla Vigo first. There we go, Venevidi Vigo. I shouldn't see anyone who is fond of me. At least not until we defeat the So Yennefer asked Siri if he uh, if she hands. didn't want to visit Croc. <laughs> okay. So sneak onto the Emperor's flagship under cover of whoa, darkness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's straight into the water. But hey! Now we at least got a taste of the water because we're gonna need to uh, swim through that more than once. Um, let's see. I think I might be able to warp closer to the ship before we do anything else. So give me a second. So, the closest I could get was the Marlin Coast. You can see the Nilfgaardian fleet over there. But of course, now it's, uh, well, daytime. So let's meditate until it's, uh, close to midnight. 
There we go. And then we'll try and get closer. 192. That should be uh, close enough to uh, start swimming towards it. Sneak onto the Emperor's flagship. I wonder which one of those is the flagship. So you can already see the lights coming out of the boats over there. So that's... Uh, those are the areas we need to uh, avoid. So let's... okay. Let's try and be careful here. I think if I drink a dose of uh, killer whale that's gonna help me as well. Because I might want to dive beneath the surface here. The only annoying thing about this is that we can't really see if we're going the right way. And whether we're gonna pop up right at where the uh, the flashlights are. There's an anchor over there so maybe this looks like a safe place to go up. I hope. Hold! It's the Witcher! Emperor's orders! Stand down! Okay. Hi. Can I uh get up here somewhere? So they already got the order to stand down, so I'm wondering if there's a ladder over here somewhere. Um, hello. Can you get me up? Oh, I probably need to swim to that anchor. Not this one. The other one. There we go. We made it onto the ship. So that's something at least. Oh, oh, we're... We come in peace. Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Well, I'm glad you find it pleasant. But you can uh, put away the crossbows. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. We are at war, if you've not noticed. I've noticed. You can see the smoke from burning huts miles away. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. But we might need her so for the next part. I'll refresh your memory about the lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. Yeah, I've I can uh, sympathize with that. Very well, so be it. That was easy. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. That's true as well, so a time for me to go then, I suppose? Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritium shackles. Okay. Hopefully she doesn't do anything stupid. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. So completely in black, as is uh, suited for uh, Nilfgaardian sorceress, of course. The other sorceresses. They're on Ginvale, near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. Um, well. Let's follow you then, I suppose. Through the portal. And I despise teleports. But have it your way. Let's go. I'd love to see Geralt barf after one of these teleports. That would be incredibly funny. So, Vanny Vidi Vigo. Pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. 
Can I join the conversation? Geralt? Yeah, hi. Um, ooh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, hmm. So Thanks I can't so. really do anything See with the conversation with uh, Frangila Vigo, but I can, of course, if you might remember. We found an earring that belonged to Triss. Yes, Geralt? So, here we go. Your earring, am I right? Wait a second. Yes. Lost it years ago. Where did you find it? Kaer Morin. In a bed. You know the one. Ah, uh, yes. The good old days. I ever tell you you're beautiful when you blush? Oh, mm -hmm. God. Back then? Like I said, the good old days. Yes, indeed. My favorite earrings. I can wear them again now that I have both. Thanks, Gerald. You're welcome, Triss. So, uh, holding up all right? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. Is she already space? wearing them? Yes, she is. I mean, I knew that was quick. Ever, you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. Not necessarily. It was so. completely our decision. To... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. Thanks for the help, Triss. Get back. So and enjoy the earrings. But she's permanently wearing them now. Right. Okay. So, uh, next up is asking Kroch where Ermion is and eventually where the Sunstone is, but that will have to wait until the next episode because I'm running out of time for today. So, a bit of a shorter episode, hope you guys don't mind, but uh, in the next episode we'll be uh, going after the Sunstone and that will probably be a bit of a longer episode. So, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.